Hey guys, we are here meeting with Intel and we're going to look at a really interesting demonstration that uh, Project Truth, Farewell to Arms, whatever you want to call it, this is what they're, they're, they're measuring power here at a, at a really detailed component level. What we have here are tablets. Uh, this is Clover Trail system. This is a Tegra 3 system. And in the back we have two uh, Snapdragon, I'm sorry, crate based systems running there. And what we're going to do is they're going to start video playback of uh, a YouTube video, one you guys probably have seen before or at least 1.1 billion of you have, and uh, measure power. All the screen brightnesses you said have been standardized to 200 and sound levels at 75 dB. So let's go ahead and uh, I guess get to started and see what we're looking at. Okay, so we're playing these videos back on all four devices. What is the graph in the back? What are we looking at there? So we're looking at the uh, total platform powers at the battery okay. for ev every single devices. Okay, so, so each of these lines in the, on the graph there is representing one of these four devices going into this uh, National, Infra National Instruments power uh, tester there. Um, so this is total system, I mean, we're not looking at component level stuff here, we're looking at total system power. What are, what are these different devices? Now that we've, we're playing some of this back, and we can definitely see that there's differences there. Um, so for the green one, the green line is the uh, uh, Service RT running Tegra 3, and the yellow one is the Dell XPS crate system, and the red one is the Samsung ATIV also running crate, and the blue one is the Intel Acer W510 running Atom. Okay, and what kind of information, like what, we're, we're basically looking at battery life measurement, essentially here, Correct. right? If, if we standardize battery sizes on all these devices, uh, in theory, the blue one at the bottom would, would be better than that, uh, would be better than the other ones there. So do you guys have a, another demo as well, a different video to play back, just to kind of show, um, I guess we were talking earlier, that depending on the specific video you're using, power consumption and the, the variance between platforms can, can be different. Right, that's correct. So we do have a local video playback that we can do uh, to show you how the uh, power consumption look like for uh, the systems. Okay. That we can go ahead and move on that. Okay, let's do that. <laughs> All right, so let's see everything coming back to... Uh, idle state there. <laughs> the timing of this. All right. Oh, this is one of my all-time favorite videos. Big Buck Bunny. So now it looks like maybe things are a little bit, well, it's a, the scale is off a little bit here until we, we can move through, but what are the results looking like on, on this type of playback? So if you look at the chart, you can see that the, uh, the green one, the service RT, uh, running Tegra 3, has highest power, and followed by the yellow one, which is the Dell XPS, and then the, the red one, Samsung, and the, uh, the blue one, the Intel system, they have all in the simple park. So essentially you guys are are trying to prove that the Cloverture platform, even though maybe other platforms are touted as being the most power efficient, may not be the case. That's correct. All right, thanks.